Michael. He's going to talk about polling and creating and using polls in a Blackboard Collaborate. Michael? Okay. Thank you, Rick. Or, yeah. Um, I'm going to be talking about uh, creating and using polls in Blackboard. Uh, Rick already got us started a little bit by uh, talking about the most basic type of poll, which uh, is the uh, yes-no poll. Um, maybe everyone didn't even realize they were being polled. But uh, polling is basically a way to get quick responses to verbal or written questions. Uh, by default, yes or no is the main, is the, is the option that Collaborate gives you. However, there are a few different multiple choice types, uh, well, three types of multiple choice that you can also choose. Um, one, uh, if you're doing multiple choice, you will want to place your questions on the, uh, place your written questions on the whiteboard so people can see what, uh, which answer they should pick. Um, after the poll is finished, the response summaries can be published into the whiteboard. And I'll go over that in just a second. Um, just so um, you can see a little bit more about where, how the polling works in the, it, it comes out in the participant panel. And um, right now, if you can just go to the participant panel and Tell me yes or no if you've used polling before. Okay, so I've got a few ants, got a few answers here, and Revita has not used polling before. Everyone else has. So uh, perhaps uh, there's a few features in polling that uh, may not be completely obvious, so I'm going to uh, go into them. Uh, if we, if we, if you are a moderator and you look at your participant panel, you will see that there are some choices for polling types. Uh, this is where you can simply choose uh, by default, yes, no will be selected, or you can choose one of the multiple choice options. Uh, there is no option to define the types of answers here, the, uh, define what the answers are. The, that will be on the whiteboard. And I'll show you, give you just a brief example at the end here. Um, but there's a couple other options, uh, choices. One is to lock responses. So after you've reached a certain point, you don't want people to change their responses. You can, you can choose lock response. Um, make responses visible. Um, that is the default. Um, however, you may not want, uh, you may not want that to be the case. Uh, for example, you may, uh, you may feel that people will give more honest answers if the responses are not visible. Uh, what this means, only moderators will see the responses. All of the regular participants in the course will not see what the other responses are. Um, and finally, uh, well, not finally, there's one more after this, but you publish responses to the whiteboard, it sends a nice little summary to the whiteboard. And um, after you're done with polling, you can simply hit clear and all uh, reference, all references, all uh, answers will be cleared. Um, and unless you're recording them, they will not be, uh, unless there's a video being recorded in the session, then those answers are forgotten. Uh, so uh, while the poll is going on, this is what the moderator will see in the participant panel. They will see a brief summary of who has, uh, of what everyone, uh, how many answers have been chosen, and they will get the uh, an option to clear the answers right from the participant panel. Um, so now I'll just go into a little sample poll. I'm going to change the polling type. Uh, 
to a yes no or from yes no to multiple choice and I'll present this question to you. Will you find the polling option useful? Yeah, answer A if you would definitely use it, B if you don't, or C if you think about it maybe you'll use it sometime. Okay, so I guess just about everyone has had a chance to give a response and at this point I'm you can't see it, but I will lock the responses. Um, if I can, right now the responses are visible, I can unclick that option and everyone, the responses should be hidden now. Um, I'll go back and I will make them visible again. And now, um, if I've declared the poll over, I can publish my results. I, and publish my results to the whiteboard. There they are. And move them to a place that makes sense. And uh, so now the results are um, the, the results are going to be in this video, and uh, they'll be you know saved for a certain amount of time as long as this video is up. Uh, in summary, oh, sorry, uh, the polling feature allows you to ask uh, four types of questions, yes or no, and three types of multiple choice questions. Uh, you can, if you're asking a multiple choice question, just make sure that you put your question on the whiteboard. Uh, you can use polling to break up the session to uh, engage your users, keep them occupied, keep them interested. And uh, finally, if you are showing the results, if you are showing the results, uh, the, the, if you're showing the results, they will be a part of the recording. So this is one thing to consider. Uh, right now we can see Bill said A, Brett said C. Um, if this was somewhat of a sensitive issue, you would probably, you may want to make sure that the uh, answers are hidden uh, because since this is being recorded, those answers will be preserved in the recording. Uh, and uh, that's about it. Uh, does anyone have any questions?